back a bit, just a bit further. Whoa! We've got a nice long drive ahead of us today, little red tractor. There's a lot to do. So, let's go! Here we go, Big Blue. This is our perfect opportunity for some free press for our new cheese business. Skip Shutter, Babblebrook Gazette here for the photographs and interview. Ready when you are, Mr Shutter. That's it, Mr Jones. Lovely. You know, this is all because of a letter we received at the newspaper all about you. He head to the right. Oh, is that so? The letter is what sparked my brilliant idea. Villager of the Year. Now, look to camera. Oh, what did the letter say again? Oh, yes. Mr Jones is a pillar of the community. He has one of the largest... Um, farms? Farms in, in the, the area. area. And, and he is always there, there to help, help a friend, a friend in, in need. need. He, he is very, very, very nice, nice indeed. indeed. And hence. Uh, strange, though. What? I was saying, uh, strange, though. Uh, strange that the letter wasn't signed. <laughs> you must have a mystery admirer. Did, um, by any chance, did the letter mention my new cheese business? Oh, yes, as a matter of fact. Anyhow, on with the interview. So, what do you think makes you Villager of the Year? Well, let me see, um... I have a new cheese business. Everyone likes cheese. Hmm. Not quite what I had in mind. Get me down! Oh, oh, why do these things always happen to me? Oh, that's better. It stopped. I got a good view from up here. <laughs> you all right, Stumpy? What are you doing all the way up there? I'm stuck! Can you get me down? You just hold on there. I think I may have an idea. I'll hold on here till you get an idea! Now I'm going to need you to hold absolutely still, little red tractor. You mustn't move an inch. Oh, sorry. I forgot that was there. I'm going to put the ladder into the trailer to give us some extra height and then you can climb down, OK? OK! No problem! Hold still, little red tractor. There you go, Stumpy! Thanks, Stan. Thanks, little red tractor. Skip! Ah, oh, uh, Skip shot a bubble broke well, What? Did I tell you about the unique flavour of my cheese? Yes. Look, Mr Jones, this isn't what I'm after at all. I'll, I'll simply have to run a different story on the front page. Skip, there must be something a bit... Oh, think, Jones, think. Um, well, there was a time I pulled a huge tree clear of the road. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> go on. Well, there was this tree. It had fallen across the track, you see, blocking the way through the wood. It was huge, and it was down to me and Big Blue to clear the way. After all, Big Blue is the strongest tractor in the area, you know. So we heaved and heaved and heaved, and finally, we pulled it out of the way. Brilliant. What else? There must be more. Um, well, well, um, well, I did help rescue Stumpy when he got stuck on the barn roof that time. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, don't tell me. I can see it now. Stumpy is stuck on the roof with no possible way down. Who could save him? Who could come to the rescue? Why? It could only be one man, the villager of the year, Mr Jones. So, knowing that he's in safe hands, Stumpy flings himself from the roof and lands in the waiting arms of Mr. Jones. Oh, oh, this is the stuff, all right. Th th that's sort of how it happened. I know, on the front page, we'll keep the readers guessing, then reveal who you are in a double page centre spread. D uh, d uh, double page? Read all about it tomorrow. Go and skip. Don't forget my cheese. There yeah. we go. <clears throat> Thanks for doing this for me. No problem. I'll see you later. See you. Stumpy the Miller, the very man. I'm running a story of the Villager of the Year, so in your own words, can you tell me how you were rescued from Mr Jones's roof by your wonderful neighbour? <laughs> oh, he is something, him and his tractor. They've already saved me this morning. Oh, we never mentioned that. Now, what about this roof incident? 
Well, I was cleaning windows, see, when I had a little accident. <laughs> I always seem to get into trouble when I'm cleaning windows. Anyhow, I land on the barn roof, and what with the ladder being broken, there was no way down. Well, not until our heroes arrived, so I had to jump off the roof. Which was a bit scary, I have to say. <laughs> but I landed safe and sound. Oh, this is great stuff. I, I must get back to the newspaper. Well, you should speak to Walter at the garage. He's got a story or two to tell about uh, you-know-who. Oh, I've just got time to stop in on the way back. Oh, and next time you're here, I'll tell you about the time you rescued me when I got stuck in the mud. Oh, well, why wait? You can tell me on the way. Early to bed, early to rise. I can't miss getting hold of the first edition of tomorrow's newspaper. Night, night, Teddy. You see, the river all dried up. And when I went for help, I sunk in the mud. Luckily, my neighbour came to the rescue. <laughs> Again, <laughs> it was touch and go for a while, because I was sinking deeper and deeper into the mud. Oh, and it, it, it took a couple of goes to get the rope out to me. But once I was roped up, he pulled me to safety. <laughs> Took some doing, mind. <laughs> oh, our story is getting better and better. Hello, dear. What can I do for you fellas? I'm after some information. Yeah, Skip's doing a story about the villager of the year. Here, did you hear about that time he saved Pat from the cliff? Now, that was great. <gasps> do tell. Well, we had just pulled Rusty clear of the cliff edge when we heard barking and found that somehow Patch the dog had got himself stuck on a ledge. But the man with the plan, he always carries a rope in his toolbox. So he tied one end to the tow hook, and this is where I came in. He tied the other end to my anky. Now this formed a sling for Patch to climb into. Then it was down to pure tractor power. It didn't take long to hoist Patch up the cliff face back to safety. Although I have to say, it was a close call. <laughs> Brilliant. Stan's quite a guy, all right. Well, don't forget, little red tractor. They make a great team. And, uh, hold on. I I'm doing a story on the villager of the year, Mr Jones. Mr, Mr. Jones? Jones? Yes. What about the stories you told me? I, w I was talking about Stan and little red tractor. Well, me too. Hey, here they are now. Well, I, I, I still have my story. Only the names have changed. N now to get some pictures. Smile. Hey. Lovely. Uh, just a few more. Good to see you, mate. What's going on? Oh, you'll see, old friend of mine. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, I must dash if I'm going to make the deadline. Read all about it tomorrow. Will someone tell me what on earth is going on? You heard the man. <laughs> Read all about it tomorrow. Wake up, Walter. All right, all right. What sort of fuss? I need a newspaper. You're a bit early. They haven't been delivered. Hold up, hold up. Here they are now. Cheers, Charlie! Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Bang on time, Stumpy. The paper's just arrived. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Heroic man and tractor team announced as villagers of the year. Turn to centre pages to read all about. Hurry, Walter. I want to read all about... Stan! There they are. <laughs> There's nothing about me. But I was going to be villager of the year. Oh, Skip was a bit confused, but we put him straight. Oh, yeah, he seemed to think that you'd done the things that Stan had. <laughs> How silly. Well, glad you put him straight. Oh, here's the man of the moment. Here, Stan. You two are famous. Check it out. So this is what was going on yesterday. Stan and Little Red Tractor make a great team. Thanks, guys. It's really nice of you to say these things. Now everyone will know what we know. You two are the best. Yes, you're just marvellous. We've done well this morning, Little Red Tractor. The cows have been milked, the pigs fed. Hey, let's call into Rose Cottage and see how Amy is getting on with her garden. Imagine where they've all come from. But what are they? Moles, sweetheart. But moles are really cute. Why would they do this to our garden? They have to live somewhere, and I'm afraid they've chosen here. <laughs> Morning, all. Oh, Stan, look! Our garden's ruined. 
You have moles by the look of it. What can we do? Can we get rid of them? <gasps> you mustn't hurt them. Hmm. I'll have to give this some thought. It's been a while since we've had moles around here. Don't worry, Amy. I'm sure I can help. Leave it with me. Thanks, Dan. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Dad's forgotten the whole load of stuff again. Dad? Dad? Hello, girl. What's up? You forgot half the stuff I asked you to get again. Oh, um, ah. Oh. Now I'm going to have to drive into Babblebrook and get it. Ah, that's all right. I'll get it. Can I trust you not to forget anything? Me? Forget? I've got a memory like a, like a, like a, like a, what do you call it? Elephant? Yeah, one of them. I'll write you a list. That'll do it. A list, yeah. You can't go wrong with a list. Right. We need fresh bread. Oh, and a garden rake for Laura Turvey. Bread. Rake. Free range eggs. Tractor oil for Stan. Eggs and cake and a garden rake. Bread, not cake. But bread doesn't rhyme. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, a set of little thimbles for Elsie. Hello, a customer. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Stop! Walter! Oh, hello, Mr. Jones. Nah, just a man. Listen, can you get away for a spot of fishing this afternoon? Oh. I have to dash into Babblebrook to pick up some stuff for Nicola, but it won't take long. Well, chop chop. I'll meet you when you get back, but keep it quiet, eh? Don't want anyone taking our spot. <laughs> no worries. I'll get off now. Catch you later. There you go. Now, Dad won't forget anything. Oh, no! Dad! Wait! You forgot... the list! Oh, Dad... Good morning, Stan. Wasn't expecting to see you this morning. I need your help, Stumpy. That's why I'm here. Oh, fire away. What can I do for you? Well, it's not for me, actually. It's the Turvies. I'm afraid moles have made themselves at home in their garden. They've made a terrible mess and poor Amy's beside herself. You know how she loves her garden. Mm. Moles, eh? <laughs> exactly. The thing is, I've promised to try and help. Stumpy? Oh, oh, I always pace when I'm thinking. I've got it. I remember now. My old dad's way of getting rid of moles was to blow smoke down one end of their tunnel, and then when they'd pop up for a breath of fresh air, he'd catch them. Don't worry, little red tractor. We can't do that, Stumpy. Amy doesn't want to hurt the little moles. She just wants them to move on. Oh, oh, I see. Hmm, well, I... You're not going to pace again, are you? What was that? Are you all right, little red tractor? Oh, take no notice. She does that occasionally. I think the sails need a bit of oil. That jolt went right through me. The ground shook. <laughs> That would certainly scare the moles away. It <laughs> would at that. Except we're not going to be able to carry this old windmill over to Rose Cottage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that does give me an idea. That's what we need to make the moles move. A vibration. Hmm. That could work. Now, let me think. I reckon it's... It's all right, Stumpy. Don't start pacing. We've taken up enough of your time. We'll think of something. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Oops, I forgot the list. Still, I'm sure I remembered everything. <laughs> now, let me see. Uh, fresh bread, check. Two dozen eggs. Free range, check. Garden rake for Mrs. Turvey, check. Tractor oil for Stan, check again. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my memory. Now, what's next? Oh, yeah. And a set of thimbles for Elsie. Thimbles? Thimbles? Oh, no. I thought she said windmills. I've got it wrong again. Nicola's not going to be happy. Oh, hi, Dad. You're back. Did you get everything? Everything? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course I did. Well done. I was worried because you forgot the list. Who needs a list? <laughs> I'll help you put everything away. No! Uh, <laughs> I mean, no. I can manage. You take it easy. OK. Thanks, Dad. What am I going to do with a box of windmills? I'm just going to have to hide them. 
Aha, off fishing then. Shh, not so loud. We don't want anyone to take our spot. We? Yes, I'm going with Walter. Promises to be a successful day. Well, before you go, I wonder if you can help me. Anything's done, anything so long as it's quick. The turvies are having a problem with moles. Rather them than us, them. Well, that's not very neighbourly. Listen, I have an idea. We might be able to make the moles move if we can get the ground to vibrate. Oh, I see. You want me to drive Big Blue all over their garden. <laughs> no, definitely not. Any other ideas? I would love to help Stan. Really, I would. But, well, I have to go fishing. Oh, um, OK. Well, maybe Walter will have an idea about how to help me with these moles. Dad? Oh, no! If Nicola sees the windmill, she'll know I got the order wrong. Dad? Where has he got to now? Hi, Nicola. Is Walter around? He was here, Stan. But he seems to have, um... He's behind the tiles. Dad? What were you doing behind there? I was, uh... Oh, you know, just, um, counting tyres. What are you doing with those windmills? What windmills? Windmills. That's it. That's just what we need. What? Huh? Eh? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, here you go, Stan. One box of windmills. Your windmills? Yes, they're for a little project that I'm working on. Project? Yeah. Yeah, the project. <laughs> Here they are, Stan, as you ordered. Thanks. And has my oil arrived? I think Stumpy may need it to oil his windmill sails. Yeah, I have that as well. Yeah, that will be the windmills and the oil. Two things I remembered. <laughs> Walter, are we going fishing or not? Fishing? But I thought you were... Oh, did I forget to mention the fishing? I think there are even more mole hills now. Here's Stan and Little Red Tractor. Maybe he's found a way to make the moles go away. Windmills? Why have you got so many? I have a plan. What we need to do is plant the windmills all over the garden. Why? Trust me, I think this may solve your problem with the moles. And it will make the garden look really cool. Come on, Amy. I've done one, Stan. Hey, Stan, I think these look much better than boring old flowers. They look great. But how will they get rid of the moles? As the wind blows them around, they'll vibrate through the soil. This will irritate the moles and in no time, they'll move off completely unharmed to somewhere more peaceful. You're a genius. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that. Stumpy and Little Red Tractor helped. Well, I think you both saved the day. <laughs> it's all right for some. We're going to get the old maypole up today, Patch. How do you fancy giving me a hand? Uh, paw. OK, you stay here. Little Red Tractor and I can manage. So, what's this maple thing for, then? It's to welcome in the spring. We do it every year. It's planted in a field and then we tie ribbons to it. And dance around it. It's great. <laughs> Sounds a bit weird to me. Hiya, Stan. Hi, Little Red Tractor. Hello, you lot. Come to help with the maypole, eh, Leo? Uh, yeah. I think so. We've been telling Leo all about them. Not sure I'll be doing any dancing, though. Oh, you will. It's dead easy. Don't reckon it's my sort of dancing, though. I do it a bit more like this. Oh, look at that. The old maypole's gone rotten over the winter. <sighs> there mightn't be any dancing at all. Oh, no. Still, we'll just go and find another. Come on. Let's go to Tawny Owl Wood. We'll find something suitable there. Brilliant! Yeah. OK, let's get looking. Now, what we want is a nice, long, straight piece of wood. Not a living branch or anything. Can't take the living stuff. Bet I find it! Bet I do! Oh, 
the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is a. Well, that's not very rock and roll, Dad. Well, no, but I, I, I'm practicing for the May Day celebrations tomorrow, aren't I? Oh, the spring it is a coming in, a coming in. Yeah, you're right. It's not very rock and roll. Whoa, spring along a whopper bopper ding a dang a dong. <laughs> Would this do? Well done, Leo. Just the job. A dead tree. You'll have this down in no time, won't you, little red tractor? OK, stand back, you lot. Steady as you go. A good push and we'll have it. Timber! Yay, yeah, yeah, red tractor! OK. Now to strip it of its branches and plant it in the field. Uncle Jasper, I don't... Not just now, Thomas. I'm making sure my stall's all present and correct. Yes, and there's something Should make you... a pretty penny if the May Day celebrations can't beat May Day for a chance to make a spot of money. <laughs> my cheese went like hotcakes last... Um, last... Oh, for goodness! That's what I've been trying to tell you, Uncle Jasper. Remember the bonfire you made just before Christmas? Oh, yes. I used the legs to get the bonfire started. Yes, you said you wouldn't be needing them. How wrong I was. Mm -hmm. Just have to find something else. I'll bet Stan could help out. He usually has that sort of thing knocking about at Gosling Farm. There. One maypole all ready for May Day. No, it isn't. We need some ribbons. And we ought to paint it, too. Now that's what I call a good idea. I've got all the stuff we need back at the farm. Come on. All right then, Elsie, I will. Go and play somewhere else, he says. <laughs> i got to rehearse, don't I? Well, well, perhaps he's got a point. Might be better to rehearse together, like, and, and me and Walter ain't played it since last spring. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in the spring it is. Oh, the spring it is. Stumpy, look out! Are you all right? Hmm? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, never better. Oh, sorry, Stan. Should have been looking where I was going. On my way to Walters to do a spot of rehearsing. You know, for the May Day celebrations. Good stuff. But I don't think driving along with that thing on the handlebars was the best idea in the world. No, it wasn't. <coughs> and now Nipper's... <coughs> Nipper's stuck! <coughs> Looks like another job for you, little red tractor. Good day to you. Here's a lovely day for it. Grass tasting nice today, is it? <laughs> oh, that was close. Could have given you a nasty scratch, Big Blue. Stupid place to leave a pole. Ah, a pole! Just the very thing we're looking for. No need to bother Stan now. I need to save someone else crashing into it, too. Right, Stumpy. We'll soon have Nipper out now. Steady as you go, Stan. Ooh, that's it, little red tractor. He's coming. Nice one, really little red tractor. There you go. Oh, thanks, Stan. <laughs> thanks, little red tractor. Right. There. <laughs> and this time, make sure you can see where you're going. Oh, I will, Stan. Don't want to see the inside of another hedge today. <laughs> right. Come on, you lot. We've got a maypole to paint, remember? Yippee! Oh, yeah! Aha! Here they are. You can't go maypole dancing without some nice bright ribbons. Stan, can we use these paintbrushes? Yep, just the job. How about red? Or blue? No. A maypole has to be white. Here we are. Right. Let's get that maypole painted and quick. It'll be time for your tea pretty soon. It was just there. It can't. 
meant to be. It was. Maybe it fell over. Maybe the cows decided to play with it. <laughs> I, I don't think so, Leo. Cows aren't usually that interested in games. Well, it's gone. We'll just have to go and find another one. Afraid not, Ryan. It's getting late. But what about May Day? It won't be proper without a maypole. I'll think of something, I hope. But right now, it's time I was getting you back for your tea. Well, we've got a lovely day for it. Uncle Jasper? Not now, Thomas, this requires a little concentration. But, Uncle Jasper, I thought there was supposed to be a maypole. Whoa! Oh, steady, Nipper. <laughs> Hello there, young Thomas. Morning, Mr. Jones. Hmm. He's concentrating. Oh. <laughs> uh, Walter here yet. Can't do the springtime song without... With... <laughs> Hang on. Where's the maypole? Stan said he'd planted one here yesterday. He was going to paint it and tie ribbons to it and all. Said it was here. Yeah, Mr. Jones, you haven't seen it, have you? The maypole. The, uh, ma the, the, the maypole. The maypole. I... Ah. Uncle Jasper, where did you get those new table legs from? Well, I... 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 Oh, dear. Something the matter, Mr. Jones. Stan, I... 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 I don't know where to begin. I've done something rather stupid. You, Mr. Jones? You, uh, you, uh, you, you know that maypole? Yes. One minute it was here, next minute it was gone. Well, it's back here again. It's, um, <coughs> in four little bits. I didn't realise what it was. I, I, I'm sorry, Stan. Very, very sorry. I've spoilt everything. Oh, I'm sure we can think of something. <laughs> <laughs> I think Little Red Tractor may have the answer. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in. The spring it is a coming in, oh, thanks to Little Red Tractor. Oh, the spring it is a coming in, coming in, coming in. 